Nancy, a proper and reserved woman who spent her entire life fulfilling her duties as a wife and mother, finally decides to take control of her sexuality. She rents a luxurious hotel room and books a man to fulfill her deepest desires. Meanwhile, on the other side of the street, Leo, a charming and confident man, sips his coffee and prepares for a date with a new customer. When Leo meets Nancy, he is struck by her elegance but realizes she is a bit uptight. Undeterred, he offers her champagne and engaging conversation, hoping to win her over. But Nancy can't help but feel insecure about her age, constantly reminding him of it. Little does she know, Leo has had plenty of experience with older women and is not phased in the slightest. For Nancy, this night is not just about satisfying a physical craving but about reclaiming a part of herself that she had suppressed for so long. As a retired schoolteacher, she realized that she had spent most of her life catering to others, but now it was time for her to take center stage. After years of living a life of propriety and selflessness, she had finally decided to indulge in her deepest desires and order a man on call. Nancy can't help but wonder if this will be the night she experiences the ecstasy she had only read about in books. The atmosphere is charged with nervous energy as Nancy and Leo converse, the tension mounting with each passing moment. Despite her initial reservations about his profession, Nancy can't help but be drawn to Leo's youthful vigor and rugged good looks. As the conversation wears on, Nancy finds herself growing increasingly impatient, eager to get down to business and experience the pleasure she's been craving for so long. Leo senses her desire and takes matters into his own hands, using his suave charm to coax Nancy out of her shell and release her inhibitions. But even as passion begins to burn between them, Nancy's doubts and insecurities bubble to the surface. Will she be able to satisfy this young Adonis, she wonders? She suggests he take a pill to ensure his arousal, but Leo waves her concerns away with a cocky grin, confident in his own abilities. As they move closer to the inevitable moment of intimacy, Nancy retreats to the bathroom to prepare herself, leaving Leo to ponder the tantalizing prospect before him. As he waits, he indulges in a snack from the mini bar, savoring the delicious anticipation of what's to come. The air in the hotel room is thick with tension as Nancy re-emerges from the bathroom, her nerves on edge. But as she takes in the scent of the candy bar on Leo's breath, her stomach churns with revulsion. Leo quickly realizes that the candy bar isn't the problem, Nancy herself is struggling with the prospect of intimacy with another man. But even as she hesitates, Leo offers her reassurance, understanding that this is not a momentary weakness but a difficult and carefully considered decision. As they settle in under the covers, Nancy can't help but marvel at the young man's intelligence and poise. She wonders aloud why he would choose such a career path, and Leo responds with an easy confidence that catches her off guard. For him, being an escort is a conscious choice, a way to feel needed and desired in a world that often leaves him feeling disconnected and alone. As the night wears on, Nancy begins to understand the complexity of this young man's life, and finds herself drawn to him in unexpected ways. As they explore each other's bodies, the years of monotony fall away, replaced by a sense of electric excitement and newfound freedom. In this moment, anything is possible, and for Nancy, it's a chance to finally break free from the chains of her past and embrace a future filled with passion and possibility. Intrigue abounds as Leo keeps his job a secret from his mother, but that's just the beginning of this tantalizing tale. Nancy, who finds her own children too proper and dull. To liven things up, Leo delves into Nancy's intimate desires, uncovering shocking secrets about her husband's behavior. For thirty long years, he's been doing the same old thing without any experimentation or excitement. This leaves Nancy feeling unfulfilled and unsatisfied, yearning for something more. With tears in her eyes, she confesses her deepest desires, to surprise a man and receive pleasure in return. But this is not the first time Nancy has craved such a thrill. As a teenager, she met a handsome waiter, hoping he could fulfill her desires, but fate had other plans. Hold on tight because things are about to get steamy. Leo has caught Nancy's eye, and he's not just a pretty face. He's a diligent worker who knows how to earn his money, and he's about to show Nancy a thing or two about what she's been missing. During their second encounter, Nancy finally feels at ease with Leo, shedding her inhibitions and revealing her deepest desires. But don't be fooled by her composed demeanor, she's still a measured teacher at heart, and she's got a list of five challenges she wants to tackle, starting with the most difficult one. As Leo senses her lingering tension, he encourages her to let go of her inner judgment and shackles, unleashing her inner wild child. Nancy takes a deep breath and gets down on her knees, determined to please Leo. Hold on to your hats because things are heating up. Leo and Nancy are getting frisky, but she's a little nervous about not doing things right. Leo puts her mind at ease, telling her that the only way he'll be disappointed is if she bites off his buddy, yikes. Just when things start to get really steamy, 
Nancy's daughter interrupts with a problem that needs her mother's advice and support. After dealing with her daughter, the couple tries to pick up where they left off, but Leo suggests they dance to relax a little. Nancy starts to let loose and feel free, but another call from their daughter ruins the mood once again. Nancy is determined to continue what she started and demands to carry on. Things are really starting to heat up between Leo and Nancy. As he gives her a massage, she can feel his muscles rippling beneath his skin and can't help but ask him to take off his shirt. As he complies, she admires his flawless body, feeling a mix of excitement and nervousness. As Nancy looks in the mirror, she can't help but feel self-conscious. Her breasts seem to sag lower than they used to and her once curvy hips have lost their shape. But Leo isn't about to let her feel down about herself. With a gentle touch, he encourages her to embrace her body and love herself just the way she is. Slowly but surely, Nancy begins to see herself in a new light and feels more confident than ever before. With Leo by her side, she knows that she can take on anything that comes her way. To ease the tension between them, Leo suggests some playful role-playing to help Nancy let loose. But the idea falls flat and Nancy breaks down in tears, unable to continue. Leo tries to comfort her by sharing stories of his other satisfied clients, and slowly but surely, Nancy becomes more comfortable exploring her desires with him. On their third meeting, Nancy finally allows herself to indulge in sweet kisses and lets go of the pressure to fake satisfaction. As she crosses off another item on her wish list, Nancy begins to long for a deeper connection with Leo. But as she tries to uncover his true identity by digging through the depths of the internet, she realizes that some things may be best left unknown. After discovering the truth, the man becomes enraged and begins to hastily gather his belongings. He refuses to continue the meeting and vows never to return to the room. Nancy experiences a sense of remorse and expresses her apology, explaining that her intention was to establish a stronger bond between them and that she is open to revealing her true identity. Leon's attention quickly waned as the woman broached a topic that she had no business poking her nose into. You see, when Leon was a teenager, he and some of his high school buds threw an adult party that got busted by none other than his own mother, and the consequences were dire. In the aftermath, she completely disowned him, going as far as telling anyone who would listen that he had passed away. Leo couldn't bear the feeling of being completely abandoned, so he took off from home for good. He now earns a living as a call boy, operating under his new identity, Connor. The client abruptly leaves, only to return moments later in a frenzied panic searching for his phone. In the end, the phone turns up underneath the man's chair, and he rushes out, vowing to repay for the wasted date. Fast forward to his fourth encounter, as the woman sits in the hotel cafe, she can't help but notice one of the waitresses, Becky, who she remembers as a former student with a bit of a wild streak. Worried about being seen as shallow, the woman quickly concocts a story about waiting for a potential car buyer. Finally, Leo arrives, and the woman expresses her gratitude for meeting with her, apologizing for any inappropriate behavior she may have exhibited in the past. In an unexpected twist, she even goes so far as to recommend Leo to her circle of friends, revealing her true name without hesitation. Touched by the newfound trust, Leo is emboldened to share his own checkered past, confessing to the mistakes he's made along the way. As Nancy sits with Leo in the hotel cafe, she can't help but feel a twinge of guilt about her past judgments of Becky, the wild waitress. But rather than let that guilt consume her, Nancy boldly calls Becky over and drops a bombshell. Leo is not just some customer, but a wonderful man she's been seeing for a month. And if that weren't enough, Nancy confesses that she's rented a room and is fully prepared to indulge in some much-needed joy with her young lover. No more school morals or moral lessons for Nancy, she's finally realized that life is meant to be lived to the fullest. In a moment of empowerment, Nancy urges Becky to embrace her own hidden desires and not be afraid of pleasure. After all, pleasure is not something to be ashamed of or avoided at all costs, it's a miraculous experience that everyone deserves to enjoy. As Nancy and Leo leave the cafe, they head straight for their hotel room, eager to indulge in each other once again. But after their passionate encounter, they decide to take a break and rest for a while. As Nancy lies there next to Leo, she starts to explore her own body and feel the sensations of pleasure for the very first time. It's a powerful moment of self-discovery and liberation. As their time together comes to a close, both Nancy and Leo know that this was their final meeting, and she's ready to say goodbye to the young man who helped her along the way. Alone once again, Nancy looks at herself in the mirror and is amazed at what she sees. For the first time, she doesn't see any flaws or feel any fear or self-doubt. She's shed her old insecurities and emerged as a confident, empowered woman who knows what she wants and isn't afraid to go after it. 